Good afternoon from Puerto Natales, Chile, Patagonia. This is the second video of part of this uh, 2019 Patagonia series. And today we're gonna do something a little bit different and take you on two scouting missions to places that neither myself, Brendan, nor Tom have been before. And that all starts right now. Let's go. We made it to our first stop. I'm vlogging in the car because it is so crazy windy. Uh, we totally just scouted this on Google Maps and it worked out so well. It looks like a really cool location. Uh, the crew's stoked, so we're gonna get out the camera gear and see if we can get some images. And yeah, show you a little bit of this beautiful part of Patagonia. Man, it was so windy. So the first location scouting shoot is over and it was a success. <laughs> Good morning, it is the next day and this is the classic location of Puerto Natales. And be it our luck or maybe just BBS's consistent luck, we've got incredible light here this morning and the crew is getting some great images, including me. I've got one two and a half minute exposure, which looks great. And uh, yeah, really happy to be getting good light at this classic location. But this video is about still trying to find different locations. So as we did yesterday, we found this great sunset location. This morning, we've got the classic. And then when we get to El Calafate this evening, we should be off for another adventure trying to find a different sunset spot. And we just finished our sunrise shoot at this classic spot. So I wanted to bring in Tom because this video is all about the adventure of trying to find new locations. But why would you go back to like a really classic location to shoot it over and over again? Well, the question you have to ask yourself is why is a classic location such a classic? True. Because it's epically beautiful, it's unbelievable, it's amazing. Now, the first time you see a classic location, you're blown away. That doesn't change. I'm still blown away every time I see these mountains and although I may have shot them before you can get them in unique and different conditions and that's what I strive for so I'd never ever discourage anybody from shooting the classic location because they're classic for a region but I well, for a reason, reason, yeah. reason not a region um, but I, what I would do is encourage people to once have got that classic shot maybe explore a bit further and a bit wider and try and look for something new so don't become fixated on the classics but yeah, they're classic for a reason, and that's because they are breathtaking. My transitioning skills are not so good, but we have gone to the hotel, <laughs> packed, had a second breakfast, and now it's time to go. So we're hitting the road. We're going to El Calafate.
Guanaca here. Filming. Taking photos. Taking photos of Guanacos. This is Patagonia. Big, expansive views. We got such an amazing spot. Look out, getting distracted by others. But this is an incredible view. I have to get the telephoto to show you. We can see Fitzroy and Torre from here. Uh, we're just outside of El Calafate and we've got such a good day. I'm so happy I decided to vlog this day for you to show you a little bit of the behind the scenes of this Patagonia adventure. We made it to El Calafate. How was your drive? Oh, uh, what a pleasure. Wow. Such a good day for driving. Really. Visibility was on point, 150 mm -hmm. k's. Yep, that see. we could see into the distance. But yeah, four hours driving, fantastic experience here in Patagonia. And now it's time to do one last scouting mission to find a spot to photograph sunset. Oh, what did you get in your uh, water bottle? Tea. Oh, oh, but not mate? Sure. Do you know that we're in Argentina? <laughs> I'll have a mate please, Greg. So we're in the car again. I just had a quick break to drop off the bags of the hotel. And we're heading off to uh, a ridge that sort of overlooks El Calafate and the uh, Lago Argentino Lake to try and find another composition. So just like last night, neither Tom nor Brendan nor I have been to this location. And it's a really sort of exciting adventure to go out with the vans, see what we can find. We got great weather. Today has just been a fantastic day uh, to explore and the views are incredible. So I got the drone battery charged, got the crew in the two vans. And we're gonna go see if we can find some brand new composition. found our spot. Check this out. Lago Roca in Los Glaciares National Park, Patagonia, Argentina. Very, very cool. Never been here before. There's the, this is the old road, the old dirt road to enter the park to get to Perito Moreno Glacier. There's a paved road on the other side of Lago Roca here um, that enters the park from a different area. And that's how most people get to the glacier now. So that's how I've always done it in the past when I used to be a tour leader down here uh, and with Brendan for the last three years. So to be able to come along this road and scout a new place is just so cool for me. I know I've said it in this video already, but this is all about the adventure, man. This is just perfect, like so cool to be able to explore with good light, no wind, great group of photographers and find different compositions on classic scenes. So that to me is a big part of photography, a big part of travel and I'm sure that you feel that same way. Sun is just about to go down on the horizon of these mountains, the Andes, the Southern Patagonian ice fields. And this is almost like being in a dream. Surreal, amazing that I was able to vlog this and share the experience with you. I know we got a lot of new subscribers from Tom's first Punta Arenas video, and I'm super happy to have you on board for this journey, this one month in Patagonia, as well as being a part of the community on my channel. It's growing, we just surpassed 10,000 subs, and it looks like hopefully we're gonna keep growing and building a community that's all about travel, video, business, adventures, and sort of capturing the moment and really living, living for this day. It sounds cheesy, but in a place like this, it's just so hard not to feel that energy, you know? This is so wild and remote and beautiful, and to have the opportunity 
to come out here on this adventure not knowing what's over the next hill is just priceless. And that, uh, that's the beauty of travel, beauty of photography, and I hope, and I know actually, that you feel the same way. So, amazing to share this with you. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the end of my video. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this one, seeing a little bit of a different side of Patagonia workshops and photography workshops in general. It's not always about going to the iconic, you know, natural place that everybody wants to shoot. It's about exploring and about adventure and about rambling on on the vlog. So I'm gonna stop myself. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and I will see you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,